Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date if a bus If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it. If he owns the bus. See, that's a problem. Know. That's a problem. Welcome to Barium Babs. I'm your host, Vale Chikuni. We begin. So we know children, they thrive in a home if there's a mom, if there's a dad. It doesn't matter how much money Ebony Williams has, okay? That child is going to want to know uh, her father, okay? Why are we out here whenever we see these people, you know, like two dads uh, adopting children? In fact, there was actually a story. Uh, there's a babysitter. She was taking care of... Um, uh, babysitting a child who had two dads and then she kept asking you know where's my mommy you know what i mean and then she wanted the babysitter to be her mom you see what i'm saying like instinctively children know because that's how god has has designed these things so you cannot uh forego how god has put things to be so this ebony williams lady okay i want to remind you guys this is how all these things started, okay? So I'm going to share with you guys what she, uh, uh, what she put out, okay? This was, you know, not long ago, okay? When she was putting these demands. This is what happens when, when women do not want to honor men in their lives. When women want to be like, we have arrived, we don't need men. No, we do need men, okay? Bring back patriarchy. All right, so let's listen in to what she was saying. Pay attention. We also are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs, uh, along with Latina women in America. Pew Research said that women are now out earning men, out earning men yes. in 22 yes. of the largest cities in America, including where I live, New York, D.C., L.A., you name it. When we talk and I know that you've said that you cannot teach a man or tell a man how to be a man. So I will not ask you to indict men in this question. But I do want you to speak, Ayanla, to how women need to uh I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources. And some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date if he owns the bus, if he owns no. it, if he owns the bus, See, that's, a problem. that's a problem. That's a problem okay. because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that, but the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm -hmm. we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver mm -hmm. if he was, if he loved driving the bus, if he was a man of mm -hmm. integrity, if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well, I would date a bus driver. But we think that it's another human being's responsibility to give us what we need instead of us building together. I can build with a bus driver. I'd have my little stash over on the side in my prenup, but I could build with a bus driver. <laughs> so I think some of the criteria that we look for in the reality of today keeps us unhappy, keeps us angry, hmm. keeps us in balance. And then when the men show up, we want to beat them up because they're not living up to our standards and criteria. And, and it's not working, beloved. It's just not working. She actually said herself, right? These men are not, uh, everything, whatever she's looking for, uh, these are material things. So obviously she cannot, uh, you know, she, she has no reason to date a bus driver unless if the bus driver owns uh, on the bus. So even the criteria that she's looking for, it's all about material. So which means she's looking for a guy who is making six figures. Okay. So if a guy is making six figures, but he's, he's ungodly, he has bad character, he has girlfriends all over the place. What are you going to do? Okay. What are you going to do? And then this idea of like, even in Yala says like, Oh, you know, this, um, what do they call uh, divinity or something to that effect? That's no age language. Okay. Women are just women, men are just, uh, are just men. If somebody wants to honor you, they can honor you, but there's no need for, for there's no need to be using uh, divine language whenever you're explaining what a woman is, okay? It's unnecessary. Not only that, she went on uh, to her, obviously, right? She cannot date a bus driver, but now look where she's at. So fine, you cannot date a bus driver, so, but you have gone so low that you had to go out there, pay to get a seed of a man, the man that you don't even want, the man that you don't even need. Hmm? 
So I was looking at some statistics, uh, you know, people, they can pay between $100, between $70 to $100, uh, uh, you know, I guess like, you know, per, per donation, something that effect, okay, it's there, it's, you know, you, you, you can Google and take a look at those things. So to me, I'm like, sweetheart, like, what are you doing? Okay, so, but because our culture is praising these things, it looks like it's okay. No, it is not okay. It is not okay. So she would rather forego a bus driver, but to go out there and then pay for the seat of a man you don't even know. <laughs> and yes, they do give him that information in terms of, uh, okay, this guy was, you know, is black, was this height, this is his IQ. But those are just material things. These are the people that are just going to do. You see what I'm saying? So it's unfortunate that this is what she ended up settling with. Okay? You want a good, godly man who's, who, who's going to fear God. You want a man who, who's going to protect you, take care of you, and sacrifice for you. So it's, th these are just simple things. So you cannot tell me that she has never come across a, a man of that caliber. But she wants to be the boss, right? The boss baby. She wants to call shots. Now, no wonder here she is. She's finding herself knocking in those uh, uh, donation banks to get whatever else that she wanted to get over there. It's, it's not it. It's not it at all. She definitely went with her selfish plans. Everything, whatever she's doing out here, it's, it's selfish. Okay? Selfish, selfish, selfish. Okay? This is the fruit that feminism, feminism is going to produce. Everything, when you're sowing seed, it's sowing and reaping. It's sowing and reaping, okay? That's undefeated. It's sowing and reaping. Whatever you sow is exactly what you're going to reap. If you're out here looking down upon men, if you're out here thinking that you have made it, you have arrived, you're sowing those seeds. And yes, the rooster's going to come home to roost. And then if you're just living your life in a secular way, okay, you know, you just quote-unquote a Christian only, name only, but you're not practicing it, hey, man, the rooster's going to come home to roost. So now she's folded. She's looking at her clock, be like, wait a minute, time is running, okay? Let me take care of some business over here. Like, uh, that's not how things work, guys, okay? God is not marked. God is not marked. This is the escape hatch that most women are going to deploy, okay? But, oh, no, you know, it's going to be this, it's going to be this. Like, no, you cannot just be invoking like, okay, you know, ah, oh, God is going to do this, God is going to do this. Okay, you are out here elevating yourself above, you know, yeah, like, you know, so what? Because you're beautiful. So what? Because you have money. So what? Because you're successful. The principles of what it means to be a woman who, who wants to be pursued, a woman who wants to be a wife, a woman who wants to be a mother, don't change because you have a, uh, you know, you, because you have a, uh, a, a, a nice bank account. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't work like that. Okay. So there are things that you, you know, some, uh, you, she, if you don't change in certain things, the things that God has called you to, then th that man is not going to come along. It's not going to come along. And then you keep saying like, okay, you know, it's, it's, it's the same thing. Like, okay, oh, I'm going to stop drinking when God tells me to. I'm going to stop drinking when God tells me. Like, no, God don't need to tell you to stop drinking, <laughs> okay? You already know what to do. Just take care of business, okay? Just take care of business. That's all. Just take care of business. So for her, according to her, there's been so many men, you know, because she's so principled, they, they could not handle her and everything. All right, fine. Okay, so to me, I'm like, okay, so I'm thinking, okay, you have um, Queen Elizabeth, right? This woman, like, she's a queen, okay? She passed away, obvious. So, but she had a husband. So, I mean, how much things do you have to be, okay? Everything, you name it, okay? The most expensive jewels, you, anything you can name it, available at her fingertips, okay? The whole nation bows at her. But she still had a husband, had a husband and kids, you know, raised kids, grandkids, great grandkids. Now, you know, she has her legacy. That's just speaking for her. So to me, this is a short mindedness that she's uh, she's having. It's because it's it's for here and now. OK, because people know who I am because I have my resume. I have this. I have that. Or I find you have all those things. But then I'm looking at you like, uh, but you're still going to. Go, you know, you're going to get um, to what do they call banks, whatever, you know, donation, spam donation banks. So if you are this woman, okay, who can get whatever you want, command everything else you want, 
where's the man at? Hmm? Another lady, okay, in these similar situations. So I just want you get, you know, contrasting like, okay, this idea where women, they have elevated their careers. They are making six figures. They are the who's who's in town. They are beautiful women. They are successful. But at some point, you reach a point where there's just nowhere for you else to go. Because there is younger women who are coming along, who are even more successful than you are. Then you find yourself, you are there, you've made it, you are at the top, but you are the most erroneous person in the world. Look at what happened in uh, uh, things that happened in Hollywood. Every, these people are so successful, but they are so lonely. They are so lonely. So, yeah, man. Success does, success does not equal happiness. All right, so let's listen to this clip, okay? Um, about the, okay, so I heard a lot of things from the men and I heard some things from the women as well, but what I've experienced and what I see a lot of times is that men want an old school woman that's still out here busting their tail, getting six figures and coming home and doing 50-50. You can't have both. Can you? So, so, so it, I'm, I'm asking this, so you said that's what they want? No, 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 this is what I just deduced from some of the things y'all just put said. Put the mic on. She said what you deduce is that a man wants a woman making six and figures and still experience. come home and be a homemaker. And I'm talking about my experience as well. Just right. speaking to what you said, being in a career, in my corporate world, working every day, you know, busting my tail, hustling, making six figures, doing, making an amazing uh, living for myself. But that caused me to have five miscarriages because I was stressed out and I was working my Sorry tail off that. and it didn't provide what we needed for our family, which was a child. Right. So you do lose out in, in certain aspects. All right, I'm going to ask that. Okay, so did you hear this lady? Okay, so she lost five children for six figures. Why? Because she was so stressed out. She, had, she got the money and those are the things that the family wanted to provide, right? And they lost out the things that, uh, that you know, they wanted to provide. No, you had them five kids. But at, at what point did you be like, okay, you know what? The first one, let me, you know, second one at least, right? Let me just quit. Let me step down. Let me stop. No, you went on first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And then the marriage fell apart. She's divorced. So you lost the husband, you lost the children, but you're still out here making the six figures. You see what I'm saying? So you, the things that you're trading, you, I mean, can you, can you quantify that? So, but now this is a culture that we live in, right? Makes you like, oh no, you are a boss baby. It's fine, okay? You are, out, and then she's out here. She still wants to get married. You see what I'm? She's out here. She still wants to get married. Because if I'm a guy, I'm look. I'm like, okay, sweetheart. If you lost five children because you you were pushing for six figures, you were so stressed out. How else am I going to trust you that this time around that you're willing to sit back and relax and raise children and be a, even if it means to be a stay home mom? You see what I'm saying? So this is a problem where uh, uh, women are compromising to a T, where you're losing everything. You're losing everything for a six figure. You're losing everything for fame, right? You're losing everything for fame, right? I guess someone say like, I've seen it all, okay? There's nothing new under the sun, okay? Vanity or vanity. This is, this is exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. And this idea of women trying to be men, right? I guess, what is a woman? Just like, no, men and women are created, they are different, okay? We are equal, uh, we are equal in value, we are in equal in matters of salvation, but God designed us specifically to be different for a reason and for a purpose. So what you have going on right now is these women who are trying to be men, who are pushing to be bane. They'll be like, okay, you know, there's no limitations. I can do everything else. Like, no, you cannot have it all. Nobody has it all. You, you are a woman. You cannot be a man no matter how hard you try. So when women try to do those things, and these are the results, okay? There's always a, there's a trade-off. There's a trade-off. You might not see it right there and then, but sooner or later you'll see it. So now this is a situation we have with uh, Ebony Williams, okay? So all this time. She's made herself like, okay, you know what? I'm this successful. I'm, I know that she's successful. She's definitely, you know, rich. She has money and everything. But I'm sure there's other women who are even more successful than her, right? But, you know, it's, that's how she values herself. And that's where she has uh, packed herself. All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and X. Until next time, remember to be in the know. Thank you.